Hi guys! Morning! So, as you can maybe tell by the fact that street lights are still on, where is one? There. There! See? Street lights are on. It is actually fairly close to sunrise. Not super early. Don't know why the sun's just coming up now. Maybe because we're in the valley. That's probably why. Um, so I woke up about actually exactly 17 minutes ago and somehow I managed to like get up, get ready, get dressed and do the, all this stuff and finish with the little bit of packing I had left, like chargers, um, in, god uh, what, well, 17 minutes I guess. Which is kind of nuts because like the only other time that I could get ready, like and out of bed this quickly was for camp. But I guess Europe is kind of like camp, right? So it's early in the morning and we're headed out of Rwanda. I made excellent time, so we're gonna be heading to the train station now. And I'll get there with plenty of time to spare, which is good. And yeah. I got a lovely view from the terrace again, which you guys saw. But I looked outside and I was like, yeah, that that deserves one more photo. So I did. <sighs> Bit of a sluggish start though, to be honest. Oh, on the tired side still. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I'll ever get used to 7 a.m. wake ups. Maybe like I could like adjust to like 7.15 or 7.20. Maybe. They're probably still horrible though. <laughs> Alright. For fear of waking someone up and me being run out of town, I'm gonna say bye to you guys now. And I'll see you at the train station. Bye. We are now in Antiquera. By the way, if you're traveling in like the southern region down here, even though, okay, so essentially this is this is what I essentially did for traveling. So Rhonda's here, Seville's over here, Antiquera is here. However, going back to Antiquera and then going to Seville takes the same amount of time as going like Cordoba and then Seville, and it's cheaper. So if you're traveling in the south around here. I highly recommend looking into transfers at Antipoda if you have to transfer because it's cheap. Um, so we're here for like the next hour or so waiting for our next train. There was like another one that leaves in half an hour from now except it cost double the price, two, three times, like two and a half times the price and I was like because for the extra half hour I don't really care. Um, I might take a nap. I'm tired. I'm really tired. <sighs> also, one week and I'm going on my secret trip. Dun, dun, dun. Super excited and happy late first. Today, we were actually originally planning on doing a trip to Cordoba today. However, I decided against it because today is Spain's Labor Day, which is very cool, but that also means that probably a lot of stuff is going to be closed, so I was like, doing a day trip to a city that's going to be 90% closed might not be like the best idea. So we skipped it, so we're just going straight to Spill because they're having a party and they've got stuff and I've heard like really great things about it. Hopefully it's not like Barcelona where I heard like really great things and then I'm super disappointed because <laughs> that would kind of suck. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything, so I'll catch up with you guys probably either later when I get bored, quite possible, or when we're on the train, maybe, or when we're in snow, also possible. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Hi guys! Alright, we made it to Seville, and I found out, like, 30 seconds before a stop that I could get off there and save myself like 10 minutes of walking and I was like yeah so like I grabbed myself and I'm like Aah! like running off the train um but I didn't forget anything and that's good and we're on our way and we'll be at the B&B in probably like the next 10 minutes which is really really nice rather than like a 20 minute walk um 
and then we're gonna like settle a little bit and then we're gonna head out for the day. Yay! Yeah, that, that was honestly really good. I've also decided I hate buses. Trains are far nicer for traveling around than buses. I think it's like the bumps on the road versus like a train. It's just like whoosh. It's like a cat oh, sneaking and stuff versus a dog getting bounced off of shit. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna attempt to do more trains and less buses for the rest of the trip with my, what, one transfer left? But we'll see what we can do. All right, I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. Hi guys. All right, so we have dropped off our stuff at the B&B. Check-in went super smooth, zero issues. Taxis. So we are now heading over to the fair because it's their Labor Day today. So most things are closed because it's now it's only like 12:30, and like everything's closed. And this is in like siesta time, so like this is like real closed. So I'm gonna head to the fair because I know that's gonna be open because Isabel told me like yeah no one works today. Fair only, pretty much. So I figured fair today, and then I can like see other parts of the city tomorrow and like the rest of the days that I'm here. And then I'll figure out how I'm gonna get out of the city. There's a bus, but it takes six hours to get to Madrid. But there's trains, but there's they're expensive. So we'll have to see about that. Um, other than that, not too much to report. I'm looking forward to the fair. I've got my camera. Uh, what else? Yeah, my room's kind of small, but it's like I've got the bed, I've got a little table, and I've got like a closet and hangers. I really don't need much else. So that's looking good too. So I'll catch up with you guys when we're at the fair then. Bye! Hi guys! Alright, so I just took a little sneak peek in the uh, Plaza España in Seville. It looks lovely. A lot of tourists though. Might come like later in the evening when it's like cleared out a little bit to get some nice pictures. Um, so we are going to continue on our way to the fair! Yay! I've seen already a few people in their flamenco dresses and there's... Okay, I don't know what these ladies are trying to do. These, these gypsy ladies. We all know how much I love those ladies already, right? Um, and they're trying to give me, it looks like rosemary? And they're like here and they're like forcing it on you. And then you either yell at them or you like smack their arm away because if they land it on you, they'll be like, you have to give me money. And I'm like, I feel like taking it, throwing it on the ground and crushing it. They're super annoying. They're super, ugh. Like, it's part of the reason why I don't like traveling to these countries. It's because like you've got gypsies everywhere. Alright, so we're gonna continue on our way and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Hi guys! So we have arrived at the fair and I'm seeing all these dresses and I'm like, wow! And then like the little kids, they're in like these super poofy ones. Like the whole like skirt thing's like poof. Super cute and all I can think is as a child I would have loved this. Okay, who am I really kidding? I would still love to do this now. Most of the family seem to be matching, coordinating colors. Here, I've got a yellow group behind me. Yellow. Or they've got like matching patterns and it's very, very cute. Very color coordinated like family teams. I expect there to be like a games later. Like a face off, maybe an Easter egg hunt or something. So for now, we're just kind of walking about. Most of these tents are private, which means, you know, outsiders such as moi aren't really allowed in here. So we're gonna view from the outside and maybe somehow find a way into one of the tents. I'll keep you guys updated. Bye. Hi guys! 
so I did manage to get into a caseta. Don't be overly impressed. There's seven public ones. I went into one of the publics. I'm working my confidence up to, you know, sneaking into like a private caseta. And by sneaking in, I mean bribing someone to let me in. Because let's face it, that's the only way I'm getting into one. Let's see how that goes. I've got, what, four days here? Let's see. Let's see how close I get. That'll be my challenge. My very dreamlike challenge. If I get it by tomorrow, I'm gonna laugh. It's probably not gonna happen at all, though. So I got some food. I got a tortilla patatas, which is essentially, hello. Okay. Uh, like, what is it? It's like potatoes in an omelet, but there was like more potato than egg in that thing, for sure. And then I had a, a cava. No, una cerveza, because my, of all the Spanish my parents taught me, they, they made sure that I knew how to order a beer. Una cerveza, por favor. I used that today, congrats parents. You taught me something useful that I used in real life. Good job. Hi guys, one more thing. Just to be clear about these flamenco dresses, some of them can cost like up to and up above 500 euros. And some of these ladies, they buy a new one every year for like the slight change in fashion. Here I am and I'm like, oh, should I buy that shirt? It's like 20 euros. Oh, that's such a hard choice. And they're like 500 each year. Dress. Yes, must have. And I'm like, oh, 20 euros. Hi guys! So we're headed back to the B&B for a bit. It's really hot out. I'm thinking of changing and then maybe going to one or two outdoor attractions I want to see. Um, we'll probably head back to the fair later tonight or a different evening. You know, photos and stuff. Um, not much else to report, just kind of meandering back home. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Hi guys, so I have become all flamenco. Look at this giant massive earring and my hair. I'm all, this is about as Spanish as I get, guys. Um, so we are actually going on a round to see what is open for dinner. So that way I have a plan for later. And then after that, we're probably gonna head maybe back towards the fair, maybe? Or just walk around a little bit? I'm not really entirely sure. But, um, my b, b person has a daughter, and prior to them giving me a new pair of earrings that they had lying around, because apparently Spanish people just have, like, extra flamenco accessories just lying about their houses. Go figure. Um, Prior to the earrings, they were like, she looked at me and she's like, eh. And I was like, uh, child honesty. At least you can rely on that, you know, in every country. <laughs> she was so harsh. She says I look better now. Um, so other than that, not much else to report. I had a lovely nap. I was so tired. I was so tired. So, we... We're headed out to a few different restaurants. One's like down this way, the other, one, the other couple of ones are that way. Very that way, but I'll deal with it. Um, so that's pretty much everything, so I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, so we are currently at the Metropole Parasol, which claims to be the biggest wooden structure in the world. I'm not sure why it's just a claim and not, you know, just it is, but 
it's a claim. So it also has a very fun nickname. So it is called the Mushrooms of Plaza de Encarnacion. Sorry about my Spanish, guys. Because it's got, I'm gonna swing this way. So see, this giant thing, so it looks like a mushroom for all my fungi friendly guys. Uh, so funny. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> so there's five of those pillars, so it's the mushrooms of the plaza, which is really cool. I gotta admit, I like it. I, I like it. Oh, can I go up there? Wait, can I not go up there? Can I go up there? I see stairs and I see a platform, so I might be able to go up there. I'd really like to if I could. Um, probably not today though, but definitely liking the structure. Very nice to photograph. Like this is a, it's really pretty. Like you guys saw, but I like enjoyed, like sometimes you just take a photo because you're like, oh I'm here and I want to remember it. Other times like you look at it and like you're, you enjoy the process. It's nice. I do rather like this. It's pretty. Um, so we're gonna wander around this area, look at those restaurants. I found one that's open, bunch that weren't. Um, so we're gonna kinda see what we can do for dinner. The first one that was open is also really close to the fair, so I'm a little worried about it. Um, but uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll be fine, I'll find something. But yeah, so this is where we are, guys. Look at it. You gotta admit, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. I really like it. I'm gonna take some more photos. I'll see you guys later. Bye. So we've gone out for dinner. It's looking really nice. So I'm having ostrich to start. And then I'm moving on to duck and rice. They're on the menu. Down there. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Guys, I just realized it's not ostrich. It sounded like ostrich because of its accent. It's oysters. Help me. Hi guys! Okay, so first of all, my waiter said ostrich. Like the bird that runs, not oysters. So when it's like, when I put it into Google Translate and expect to see ostrich and it said oysters, I panicked. I was like, because we all know what happened last time I had oysters. I got food poisoning and I felt like death. And that wasn't fun by any means. And I swore I wouldn't have any oysters for the rest of this trip. And then here I am, still on this trip, and I've accidentally ordered an oyster. And I'm like, oh god, this isn't good. Now the good news, it tastes delicious. Far better than the last one. Also, I love caviar. Caviar is good. Damn, I'm expensive. <laughs> what else? Dinner as a whole was fantastic. Truly wonderful. My face during dessert was like pure bliss. It was like, it was so good. It was like chocolate ganache with pistachio like sponge chunks 
which kind of made it look like uh, like a shelf mushroom, like one of those spongy like mushrooms, fungus things, which was like really cool because they called it like with pistachio and then like coolie of like forest berries, like forest fruit. It was like berries, so it kind of looked like a forest scene. It was actually, it was excellently done. It was really cool. Really good. It was so good. Um, the espresso. That is the best espresso I've had in Spain. So I had two. So if I seem a little wired, that's why. Oh, it was so good, guys. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna hulk out of like, uh, espresso. Oh, that was really, really good. So we, it's now what time? It is just after 10. I'm so happy I had a nap earlier. If I didn't have a nap, I would be toast right now. Um, so I'm honestly just kind of walking around a bit. We're gonna head back over to the parasol. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to check in with you guys. Today is day 48. I kind of accidentally posted today's video as, well, yesterday's video is day 48. And then someone brought it to my attention that they're like, day 47 is missing. And I'm like, I know I haven't. Like, if I like miss a few days, it means that I like upload them all together. So I was like, that really doesn't make sense. And I haven't got a notification from like YouTube saying that like one of your videos has been taken down. So, it was really weird. And then I realized I had just mislabeled it, so that's fine. So if I don't check in with you guys later, I will see you all tomorrow. Bright eyed and bushy tails. That was such a good meal. I'm so happy with it. It was so good. Oh, so good. Like the chocolate ganache, you gotta understand this. Usually like ganache, like people like, overdo it like it's too rich or it's too thick or it's like something's not quite right with it like it was perfectly creamy and it was delicious thank you no it was like it was it was it was so well done truly leo was the name of the artiste behind my dinner tonight i told the waiter to tell leo that i loved him I hope Leo got the message. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything. So I'll either see you guys later or tomorrow.